Greetings, critical viewers. We're back with more Just Stanley a Parable. Just through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. And this time we're going to do what he says instead of rebelling because it's boring. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, he did. Okay, no comments? Okay. And uh, we'll see what happens when we go through the right, but then immediately to the left later. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might what? find an answer there. I wanted to read this. Solve a dispute with a coworker, let it ball up inside you. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Take it out, Pat. Man, this is some... I don't know if any of you guys read the comic strip Dilbert, but this is, this is basically it. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a freaking... Yeah. A lot of this stuff is commenting on office uh, office interactions. Oh god, don't even get me started on profits. Number of slides on this slide. Awesome. Synergize, that's one word that you will never get tired of, except you totally will. Oh my god. Please do more charts. Oh my god. I wish I could just sit there and watch that, but we've got to move on. Holy crap. They really put a lot of detail into uh, these whiteboards, didn't they? Yep, this is totally, totally a bunch of worthless business buzzword speak. Mitosis? Whose dreams for the future involve mitosis? Or pollution. Or metamorphosis. Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no expectation of promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. <laughs> what a great tip for not getting fired. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Just don't get fired. There's a whiteboard manager. That actually wouldn't surprise me if there was a whiteboard manager. Oh my god, the other day at my work, somebody wrote on the whiteboard in permanent marker. It was... I don't know who did it, because we just walked in one day. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. I want to check out what's here, though. Maybe he'll get mad at me. There's a broom in here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. I bet if I stay no here... reason to still be here. I bet if I stay here long enough, he'll shut the door on me and be like, Stanley decided to stay in the broom closet for the rest of his life. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Yeah, okay, I'll leave. I'm pretty sure that's what happens anyway, so let's save the boring. Oh, wow. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, my God. Let's go down. I know I said we would be obedient, but fuck it. It's more fun this way. Oh, how come I can't pick up any of these papers? But Stanley just couldn't do it. <laughs> he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Oh, yeah. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Oh, All no. of my co-workers <laughs> blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. 
Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after what? all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Whoa. It was so <laughs> much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Oh my god! Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And what Brain if explodes. It all odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. That's right. So he closed his eyes gently. What? And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. He thought to himself, I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. <laughs> but it Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Holy shit. Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> oh my god. So that sequence is was highly This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh my god. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. So that segment was... Also in the mod, but it was highly improved for this version. I forgot that that happens. So, so far, everything that has happened in this game also happens in the mod, but it's just improved, I guess. 
So I wasn't expecting a straight, you know, remake. All of his co-workers were gone. Uh, what could it mean? Of the mod, but Stanley so far that's exactly what it is. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I thought it was, you know, drawing from the same principle, but not when the exact came same. When set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, we'll see what happens when we go this way and then this turn left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I think it well. just takes you back Perhaps to the... Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager okay, to get I think it just business, takes you back to the Stanley left side. The first open door on his left. I don't know how much it actually alters things. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But there's a thing here. Let's do the thing. Haha, <laughs> being rebellious is fun. It's funny, when I posted my uh, playthrough of the mod, um, I thought I got all the endings, and I still think I got all the endings. But, uh, but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, from here, it's, um, left. Oh, is it? But I still got a comment on that video that was like, you didn't do all the endings. And I was like, I... oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Okay, I'll go. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Right here. What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh my god, come on! Now, let's see, we went down right, left, there's a, down... There's a bug, left, that's why I was looking at. Right. Yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Great. I don't see anything. This way? Uh oh. Oh my no, god. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, what? okay, no. okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to Fired. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish. Only one now. employee has gotten fired? Story, oh, two. Unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from what? the beginning. What? No! And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Or what happens if I do the same thing again? I'm gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that Call I just did and see if he notices. Down. What could it mean? Maybe he will. Maybe Stand he won't. Maybe it'll unlock something room. new. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, and... When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Yeah, there are two new Stanley, doors. did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No. Did you move the story somewhere, or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Oh my God. Let's find the story. Oh my God. Where do we go? There's even a door over here that I can't even go to. One over here too. Uh, here. So these both go to the same. All right. Maybe it's. What the? What? This is, um, okay. Excuse me? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise what? you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just, do we need to restart the game again? No! Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Wait, but what? it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Ah! It was just a big loop anyway. All right. Let's try again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley Shut decided up. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Shut up. Okay. 
Let's try it again. What? Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Really? I can go back? There's a door right here. Uh, okay, do you want me to check the doors? I can try. Yeah, so, have any of you guys, I mean, not everybody that's watched this has watched all of my videos, but I played a little game called 30 Flights of Loving recently. I feel like this game is the same concept as 30 Flights of Loving. It's just executed much better. In a much more attractive way. Much more Aha. fun way. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Okay, well, I'm bracing myself with anticipation. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh my god, okay. What, what is this run-down, derelict part of the company building? Come on. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. Uh-huh. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! All right! Congratulations! Well, I know you put in a lot of hard two work. videos in. It really paid Done. off. So, good job. That's great. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. What? Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Oh my god. <sighs> I can't remember if I brought this up the first time I played the Stanley Parable. Oh my god. Uh, but... The narrator sounds a lot like the guy who does the I Hate Nature videos. Which, if you haven't seen I Hate Nature, you should look it up on YouTube right All now. Alright, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Alright, I guess. So what happens if I deviate off course? This way? Really? I guess I'll do it, because why not? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. What? Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying what? a journey what? such that a destination Parkour. is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Oh my god. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. What is happening? Look at this. Who do they think I am? What is this? Who moves like that? Well, th this is definitely very epic. Thank you. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Okay, this is shady. Where exactly are you taking me? Is there a dude named Phil with marijuana back here? I don't have any money. I can't be a part of your little scheme. Oh my god. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. What? What fern? This fern? Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. What? Okay. Let me study it closely. It looks... 
It looks very unremarkable. But, alright, I did it. <laughs> Wait, Wait a second. We're, we're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? What? Is any of this ringing a bell? Wait a second. We didn't go this way exactly. Oh, we're back here. Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. I feel like I just played Beyond Two Souls again. Ha! Linear joke. That game was linear. Joke. All right. Let's try it again, I guess. This is a long deviation from the... You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Yeah. Something exciting. Yeah. Daring. Mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? What, where, this way? I'll do it. Sure, I'm a gullible fool. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild, use your imagination. Hey, wait a second, we're going in square. Whatever it might be, Stanley, no, not. I'm ready for it. Okay, well, uh, it's really boring so far. Oh, oh God. No, not you again. Stanley, <laughs> I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. Oh no God. lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Okay. Oh, my God, this line is nuts. Okay, I think we've deviated paths successfully. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. You Just need a minute to think? For a minute. Okay. What? So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I can't open this one? All right. The confusion ending. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Who, what? Hmm. The confusion ending? <laughs> You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? What? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Find a bookstore? Well, I don't want to forget. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, <laughs> I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. And the time went to stop. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that was the confusion ending. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, and we'll 
try to find some more mendings in the uh, next video. Think critically.